Hi, I'm Christina. Welcome to Songs for Black Days, our new show about music as medicine. Today we have a very special guest, Ash Costello of New Year's Day. How are you? Hi, doing very good. How are you? Excellent. So I guess like we're going to explore six songs with you, but I guess my okay. first question is when was the first time you felt like a connection between your own internal world and your mental health and music? That's so funny because I think about this moment often and I very vividly remember the first moment I thought, oh, wow, I need music. Like I need music. Um, I had a very chaotic childhood. I'm a, a child of divorced parents. So I was kind of carted around back and forth to each house and uh, both were dating different, you know, different people here and there. And I had to get used to different boyfriends and girlfriends and grandma would watch us while they were on dates. It was just chaotic, you know? Yeah. And I started to kind of go into my head and live in my own world. And I, I went on a, a road trip when I was maybe 10 or 11. And I had a portable CD Walkman. And one of the only CDs I had was a band that probably no one will know called Phantom Planet, which is a, it was a huge Orange County band at the time. But everyone might know them because they have that song that was big in the 2000s um, called California if you ever watched the OC, you went California, I probably, California. I think, they were like an emo, de depressing, like yeah. sad boy band uh, before that was even a term. So we're talking like, you know, it's it's the early 2000s here. And uh, I, I remember sitting and looking out the window on this road trip that I did not want to be on because I was just riddled with anxiety as a kid. And I listened to that album over and over and over. I just looked out the window and I very distinctly knew in that moment that I needed that album. Let's get into your songs. So are we talking about like songs that kind of speak uh, how, how we're feeling or songs that lift us out and make us feel like much happier? There's an, an album that does both for me, to be honest. It, it speaks what I feel in my, and I'm going to say this specifically, female brain, and the anxieties we, we go through as women. And it also puts me in a really good mood. And it's the entire Return of Saturn album by No Doubt. The themes in all the songs were more like deep diving into how she felt as a, as a woman, touching on insecurities and jealousies and feeling like you're not good enough or uh, comparing yourself to someone else. All those themes are present. And I feel like it came out at the right time for me where it made me feel like, wow, Gwen Stefani, who I look up to so deeply, also feels these things. And she's kind of owning it and being honest with it. And it made me work through it a lot. Okay. For, for girls out there, how do you get over that comparing yourself thing? I, it just took time. You know, I get a lot of uh, younger fans and they ask me, you know, you seem so confident. How did you do that? How did you harness your self-esteem, your confidence? And and I, I always try to say the same answer, which is confidence and self-esteem comes with time because I used to beat myself up and go, well, the, that girl looks so confident on stage. What, what was she born with that I wasn't? Yeah. So once I once I realized like people just aren't born with confidence, it's forged. I looked at it differently. OK, song, your next song. My next song, uh, we're going to I'm going to touch on Phantom Planet. I got it at a, a burnt CD in high school and I remember like someone handed it to me and I was like, oh, I felt like the door opened to so much more than I had ever thought I had known. Cause I, you know, I idolized, I watched MTV religiously and um, that's where I discovered, you know, Nine Inch Nails and Marilyn Manson. They play Sweet Dreams right after Closer and you're like 100%. changing for the rest of your life. I'm with you, bro. Yeah, I'm all the way. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. So, um, but when, when I got Phantom Planet, um, it, it really changed me. So I'm going to go with the most depressing song that they have. And it's called Turn, Smile, Shift, Repeat. And it's just about uh, being stuck in a routine in your life. And I kind of really felt that when I was in high school. I felt really stuck. And they just turn, smile, shift, repeat. So when I listened to the song, it didn't really help me get out of it. But at least I felt like I could relate. Yeah. You know, it, it felt like there was a song saying what I did, wanted to say. How would you define emo music? I think the state of it now is obviously we're all very aware there's a resurgence. I just feel like uh, like the kind of the emo like the lyrical content and stuff, I feel like it hits as well like teenagers now because I feel like they're much 
more open about mental health and they're much more open about their struggles yeah so much more comfortable talking about it I think yeah for like this generation there's like so much less stigma there's less stigma in um like gender identity and trans identity there's less stigma in being diagnosed with a mental illness whereas like when I grew up it wasn't like when I was a teenager it wasn't like this so I feel like it makes sense that this kind of music is hitting a bit yeah you're yeah. you're actually wow the psychology yeah. of that's very interesting because that could could be one of the most massive huge parts of the resurgence is we're all more comfortable and have more information at our fingertips about mental health yeah so it's, it's amazing- more of a conversation I have a I have a best girlfriend who is an incredible um psychologist she's absolutely blows my mind brilliant one day I was like all right fine do it what's my deal what's my deal And she goes, you're the most normal friend I have. And I was like, I am shocked. But she goes, you have uh, high functioning anxiety. And I was like, makes sense. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. I feel very anxious all the time. So, (laughs) so they're perfect. And, you know, a professional told me, so I'm like, all right, finally, geez. But I mean, there's a lot of benefits to anxiety too. There's a lot of benefits. There's so much benefits. You know, I'm incredibly caring. I'm always caring. Are you okay? Are you okay? How do you feel? yoga you know so I'm always like the friendly that wants to care for everybody so there's pros and cons yeah pros and cons Ble- blessings blessings and curses it's uh yeah it's a strength and it's a it's a challenge so next song this is my anthem it was my anthem the second I heard it um I'm not one of those that wasn't you know found it later on I found it in the moment I was already a fan of the band I was waiting for the countdown for this song to come out and it's gonna be I'm not okay by my chemical romance I found my chemical romance through a burnt CD yep. from a friend who was a musician. Uh, he was a guitar player that I was, um, after I'd kind of been in the underground scene with my first band a little bit, meeting other musicians in the area, he burnt me my chemical romance, um, three cheers for sweet, uh, three cheers for sweet revenge. And the first one that eludes me, I bring you my bullets. I bring you my something. I, I watched the release of I'm not okay. And that changed me forever. Wow. That for, changed me changed you forever because I felt like there was someone on this planet who got me. I felt like, oh, okay, I found my people. I found where I belong. Goth, red eyeshadow, red and black hair. Like that's what really like clicked and started the journey was that moment. So coming up next, what do we got? The next one is going to be All That I've Got by The Used. The lyrics are, uh, I'll be just fine pretending I'm not. I mean, and that's just another feel good, like, I don't feel fine, but it's okay song. Let's, let's <laughs> do another song. Radiohead, I, w- I went to art school for like one semester before I was like, nah, we're not doing this. And uh, I had a big giant Radiohead poster over my uh, bunk bed because I was so enthralled with Radiohead. I just, they, they were everything to me when I was in art school, which makes a lot of sense. Mm. And Creep. Creep was always just those ones where I'd be in the room like, I'm a creep. I'm a what, the hell I what is your um, favorite music right now? Random aside. Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Ghost. Ghost? Ghost? You're a big ghost guy? Yeah. Yeah. Ghost, ghost is, um, uh, I don't really fall in love with too much new music on that scale like uh, like where I feel like a kid again but Ghost had me like I dress up like a nun and we go to the concert we make it a whole thing you know I I saw him backstage at a festival and I was too scared to say hi he was coming out of a porta potty it was a whole thing I didn't want to bug him how embarrassing I was that person I was like I'll just I'll just wait I'll I'll just back up that's cool because you're cool you gotta do your thing what was um yeah what was the sound okay very briefly what was the soundtrack to falling in love for you Oh, dude, Morrissey. Morrissey. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Cool. I love yeah, that. Yeah, my first my first kiss was to How Soon Is Now. Yeah, that's killer. Oh, I got to add one. Okay. We can have more. This song now. makes me cry every time. Yeah. I think it's called Please Let Me Get What I Want This Time. Once in my life, let me get what I want. Lord. Don't listen to it if you're having a bad day. Don't listen to it because it's going to make you cry scream scream cry ugly cry 
so so it's, this this actually I think we need on the list now because it's 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 like the it's a little cruel, too uplifting. It's the cruel wild card. 